Hi, welcome to Corona Fine Art. Today I bring you a short video with a time lapse of my most recent piece, the Magnolias. I have been really inspired by looking around me and watching all those beautiful uh, southern magnolias in bloom. It's one of my favorite trees and the flower is just so huge and very fragrant of like a citrusy smell. Uh, so I've been really inspired. It's not the first time I've been inspired by this beautiful flower. Um, I've actually painted another magnolia painting um, maybe I think one or two years ago which was purchased by one of my collectors and this year I decided to go back and do another painting of these uh, magnolias and in this time I did a watercolor and in one minute I will bring it closer to you so you can see some of the details uh, but I also I wanted to include a time lapse of the creation of this watercolor painting because I really love to share my process and just show you behind the scenes of creating all my paintings. So one of the things that I did before I started this painting was I did some sketches and I wanted to show you some of the sketches that I did uh, beforehand of just different types of magnolias uh, including this white flower so I did this sketch, which is of the same type of magnolia, it's just a bigger bouquet. And this sketch is done with pastels. So here I really studied the shadows and the ranges of the white and the gray and added a little pop of the green color inside in the center here and then the leaves course with that dark green um, so this is one of the sketches that I did uh, and another thing is um, some of the warm tones here on the petals as well in addition to the gray tones which I also did in my watercolor painting and another sketch of magnolias that I did this one is in color pencil and this sketch is of a magnolia as well. Um, also, a lot of people don't think of this flower as a magnolia. The tree is actually called a tulip tree um, because of the shape of the flower, but it's actually a misnomer. These flowers are actually magnolias, uh, the liriodendron. And I love how different they are from the southern magnolias because they have such a bright uh, color of green and orange but if you look at the center it's very similar to the southern magnolia so I definitely do a lot of different studies before I paint my landscapes and my botanical paintings um, and now I want to show you a close-up of my watercolor. So here is the magnolia painting up close. And as you can see, I've chosen a, a copper frame for it. It is made out of wood, but the color is copper. And it definitely mimics some of the browns colors in the leaves and in the um, sticks, the branches of the magnolias. And if you look here, it is behind glass, so there might be a little bit of reflection, um, but it is made with watercolors, and I've included a lot of different textures and tonalities of the gray and white with a soft blue sky in the background. And I wanted to include different stages of the bloom on here, so I definitely have you know, the bloom before it opens, right here. Uh, and then I have a bloom which is almost uh, half open. And then I have a bloom that's fully open and actually already dropping some of these into the petals. I just love that about the magnolias. Um, they catch those. And then I have also the seed pod that is left after all the petals uh, have fallen. 
so and these are the seeds of the magnolia so now I want to show you the short time lapse that I created um, and also to thank you so much for watching and to ask you to please subscribe to my channel for more content I have been a little bit slow in making videos because when I paint I usually I'm so focused on the painting that I'm doing and I'm so into just getting uh, materials out randomly and just starting to paint um, I don't have like a fixed schedule so sometimes I don't think about setting up the camera and starting to record um, but I definitely want to make an effort to do that more because I want to show you uh, my process behind making a lot of my pieces uh, and also do some vlogs of some different exhibitions and other events that I have going on um, especially the nature journaling that I have continuously been doing in my channel um, so I invite you to like and subscribe uh, to my channel and also to check out my website coronafineart.com where I have a library of all that my paintings are for sale and also contact information if you ever want to order a bespoke commission piece um, personalized uh, where we get in touch and I uh, talk to you about what you're looking for I've done uh, some portrait commissions recently that I've posted on my Facebook and on my Instagram so I also invite you to check those out Anyways, so without further ado, please check out the time lapse and remember this piece is for sale, so let me know if you're interested. <laughs> 